Hey YouTube, what is going on? This is iTalk here. And in today's video, we have a brand new video. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 1 loot pool with like the weapons and the healing and everything because there's been a lot of confusion as of the past few days because people are like, you know, where are the patch notes to let us know what's even in the game anymore? And the truth of the matter is, there is going to be no patch notes. This is the game now. This is starting over brand new. It's great. I think this is a great thing for Fortnite to do. They haven't told us anything regarding about, like, what's actually in the game, what isn't in the game. They kind of left us hanging here, but in the good way. They kind of left us hanging to be like, you know what? You go discover everything. You guys let us know what you think about everything. We don't want to give you the exact numbers on everything. I'm going to be talking about that with you guys, and I'm going to give a huge amount of credit to FaZe Nicarazzi over on Reddit. Unfortunately, he did not watermark this post, which really stinks for him. I wish he did that, but the credit goes to him completely for all of this, and we're going to be looking at this picture today, and it's called Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 1 Loot Pool, and he says there are not technically any vaults or unvaults. Chapter 2 is a complete revamp to the game. The loot pool was redone entirely. We are back to square one only the basic weapons. Every weapon is available in all variants. This is what Epic calls a streamlined weapon arsenal. So if we take a look right here, here's what we got in our arsenal. These are all the items that you can get in Chapter 2 Season 1 of Fortnite. So right here we have the ARs. We have just like the normal set of ARs. It's the exact same as before. Then we have the burst assault rifles back, which they degraded them a little bit. And then they made the Epic and Legendaries into something called the AUG, which is from like a lot of Call of Duty games. Really good gun. And the thing I wanted to mention here with the AUG as well is that it is a first shot accuracy if you do not move and you aim and shoot. Really crazy to me that it's actually really strong. But again, you have to be completely still for you to shoot and then have the first shot accuracy come right back after between each burst. It's really strong, but you need to be stable to actually get that first shot accuracy off, but it is very strong. Probably the most powerful weapon in the game, in my opinion at least. I know the Scar is really strong as well, but I think this Gold Burst AR is actually probably the best. Then we have the Pump Shotguns back. They actually brought back the Comet Pump, which we haven't seen that, I think, since like Season 2. I could be wrong about that again. But the pumps definitely feel a lot worse than they did back in the previous seasons that we've had. And firmly, I think the attacks are actually better. I wanted to mention here is that I think the Pump, the Gold Pump, is probably the best. You can get a 220 headshot with it. it it's very strong. The tactical shotgun can't even get a one-shot kill, but the thing with the tactical is that it's a lot more consistent than the pump is. The pump really, I don't I don't know how to explain the pumps in this game, but blue and above are good, but green and gray are terrible in my opinion. I have never had a good experience using them. I never got a one shot with these two pumps, but I will say that maybe they'll just have some tuning, maybe, or maybe they'll tighten the spread up a little bit. I'm not entirely sure, but the pumps in this game are definitely not as good as they used to be, which is totally fine. It's just something I wanted to note here. And then we have the submachine gun. They actually brought back the P90. They nerfed the magazine size again, so now it is all 30 on all these SMGs and they're all very dominant as they used to be. Then we got the pistols, which we got a new set of pistols, the Epic and Legendary ones, and these things are really, really strong. I would highly recommend checking these out because these in, in some ways are kind of better than the SMGs and I don't take that lightly. I think that the Epic and Legendary pistols are insanely powerful. They're very, very strong in their class. And then we have the bolt action sniper. We don't have the heavy sniper anymore, which is really interesting. The bolts act the same. The common is brand new. I find a lot of the green bolts I've noticed and the blue is really strong and the epic and the legendary are both very strong as well. And that's pretty much all I got to say about the snipers. And then we have rocket launchers. We have the common, which I haven't found a common rocket launcher in the game. Maybe it's only for creative. I've gotten mixed responses about that. So yeah, we have the uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary rocket launchers, and their damage is actually based off of the rarity. So if you get a green rocket launcher, you're not only dealing with slower reload times than usual, but the damage is going to be nerfed as well. It's not going to be a flat 130 or how much it always was back in Fortnite Battle Royale before. Then that's all the weapons. That is literally every weapon they have given to us. And then we have bandages, we have med kits, and then we have a bandage bazooka, which is a brand new weapon in the game. And the new thing we got here is the bandage bazooka which says shoot at yourself and allies to heal 15 health up to 105 shots unlimited ammo and recharges one every 20 seconds and it takes up two inventory slots 
This gun really reminds me of Baptiste from Overwatch. Baptiste in Overwatch, what he does is he heals his teammates, and how he does it is that he shoots these little balls at his teammates, and this is pretty much the exact same thing, except it's homing as well, which is really cool. But yeah, taking up two inventory slots, it sounds kind of... I almost want to say it shouldn't take up two slots, but at the same time, I think it is... This is great balance. This is a phenomenal balancing thing for Fortnite, so... I don't know how I fully feel about it, but honestly, it's a pretty good thing. It's all up for interpretation. We have to play the game more to really figure out what's good, what isn't. I do have fun with the bandage bazooka, but it definitely need. It is only really good if you're playing in duos and squads. And the bandage bazooka as well. It's good for like you know, full fully healing yourself up and then just dropping it. That's how I've been using it if I've been playing solos with it. And then we have the mini shields and the shield potions. They have been completely unchanged. One thing we also have to take into account with like the shields and how the, the lack thereof, because we don't have slurps, we don't have chug jugs or anything like that. There's a lot more environment that allows you to heal. You got to really take that into consideration when you see this list of things and you're like, really, that's it. You got to use the map to your advantage here with like shields and health and stuff like that. Then we have fish in the game. You can now fish, which is actually a really fun thing to do in the game. And then you can get like a small fry, which heals only 25 and it only heals up to 75. So it's kind of like the bandage, except it heals 25 instead of 15. You get the flopper, which heals 50 health. You got the slurp fish that heals 50 effective health, meaning if you have full health, it'll actually do 50 shield for you, which is really cool. And it also says all fish take one second to eat can only be found from fishing makes total sense the only throwable we have in the game is a grenade that is literally all we have it still drops in stacks of three we also have a new item called the fishing rod which in use water to fish out weapons materials fish and more which is pretty cool and you know what one thing he actually didn't note on here is that there is another thing you can fish which is the you can fish like these cans and they actually do 20 flat damage if you hit someone with it but it's very very difficult to hit someone with it so i wouldn't recommend using it but it does do 20 damage that is something to note we do actually have two throws uh, the damage trap has been unchanged. I am very confused as to why they did not nerf it to like 75 or 100 health because in my opinion 150 is way too high for the traps but that's just me and then the only vehicle we have in the game is the motorboat which is a four player vehicle one person drives while the others can shoot has a boost mobility and one rechargeable missile that does 35 damage and I think in between shots you could shoot it like every four or five seconds which is really slow it's barely even a bother in my opinion I think it's totally fine but we do not have any land vehicles which like I said I think an ATK would be very very good to have it was not broken the quad you could fly with it which I don't want. I want everything to be grounded, and I think it's a good thing to have that. And I would also just bring the bounce pads back. Again, the reason why I'm saying this is because if you're in a build fight, you will die if you fall down. Like, if anyone shoots out your builds, there is literally no way to save you anymore. There's just nothing left. So I think the bounce pads would be a good addition because you could just put it on a wall and then just bounce out of it. I think that's a great idea, especially with how often we find rocket launchers now. I think that would be a great idea because right now, if you're in a build fight you're at a risk but at the same time I feel like that was kind of on purpose but we'll have to wait and see again this is just all my initial reactions to what maybe down the line maybe down the road we'll see actually how we feel about these things but right now I think it's completely fine that we start over that we start fresh and I'm very very excited to see what we get in Fortnite chapter 2 of season 1 I have been addicted to this game I know it's like oh well people are getting addicted to the game it's really fun again okay I'm sorry it's really fun to play again they made us wait 38 hours with that black hole and now I just cannot stop playing this game so Fortnite you did a great job with the game I cannot praise you enough for it again I'm not hashtag ad I'm just saying this is really really cool of you to uh, do this for us and then last thing I really want to quickly mention here is that Fortnite actually emailed uh, creators with support a creator and they said that we're getting two times the support for the launch of Fortnite chapter 2 and they said to celebrate the new chapter epic support a creator program will be doubling your earnings from Saturday October 19th to Monday October October 21st so that's pretty cool so yeah if you want to support me with the support of creator my codes I talk for I'm sure you guys know all that and I really do appreciate the support but the one thing I really want to point out here is that we're getting it during this weekend right what if they drop ghoul trooper what if they drop the skull trooper set back I think they're gonna drop something good this weekend I don't know why they would do it so randomly here I mean besides you know chapter two but this is amazing again Fortnite does not have to do this they don't even have to have the support of creator program but they have been so nice to all of us and I think we really need to give them a little bit more credit than maybe 
it has been for the past few months. But that'll be it. That's all I wanted to talk about today with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know with the like, but only if you enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and turn on the bell just to get on my latest uploads and comment down below. How do you feel about the loot pool that we have here in Fortnite Battle Royale? I would love to know. Follow me on Twitter at iTalkFortnite and follow me on Instagram at ICanTalkFortnite. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you all later. See ya.